We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why their own faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you mean, uh, did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, I'll before be Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago under a strict you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow, like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? Attention. Attention. So what? You can't even this breathe in Moscow. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Rally point location is code 18111 79. Area 18. Right. 
Where was that number supposed to be? Got it. So it is somewhere around here. A Yamantown mountain. So look from here so we know that much is this is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes. This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground! Enormous stores, machines, the best experts! It is the Commander General's HQ! All of the country's leaders are there! They have already started the restoration work! We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change! Everything! Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world! <laughs> Are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... Hmm. Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Do <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals. So we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora, the Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what? That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name! Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Yeah. Wow, that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha?
Hello there, Artyom. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. And well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Uh, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. And the weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo, because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Ah, well... I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. Well, hello there, Tom. You people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Beelzebub was a better name. on the end of your chain.
After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Fired. Four bogies on a trolley. All hands, report to the bridge on the double. Are you all right, Artyom? They pierced the cylinder. How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck. Oh, shit. Damn fog. Someone's Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I go with Artyom too. That's back. I'm no. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak! When can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. It's gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, it, sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir.
way, am I not trustworthy anymore? Let's go, I tell Artyom! You if it was the case, Sam. Now get the jammer. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. What was that? Could you check it out? That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. A rabbit!
climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Looks like you've been spotted. Artyom, there's a woman on that bell tower waving a rag or something. Please investigate. I see people at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay?
Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons shielded and welcome. Reject the folly and the sin. Reject the folly and the sin. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all a that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here, and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to the
Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Heretic! Well, brothers, the heretic is here! The only thing left is to find him! Fish, the deliverer of the souls of the faithful to the heavenly gates. Don't you see?
I give up. I have no choice but to rely on your mercy, even though you are a heretic. Our fish, the deliverer of the souls of the faithful to the heavenly gates. They say you worship the devil. Is that true? Will you teach me? I'd make a good apprentice. A really, really good one. Come on, teach me. Fish, the deliverer of the souls of the faithful. Save and protect our holy sage Salantius, the true shepherd of the faithful, for he is our only protector before the wrath of God.
What's going on? Oh, I don't feel right. Oh my god. The heretic? Ha! Well, just, just shoot me. Come on! I wish you'd just shot me. Quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there.
Artyom, over here! What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though.
Here's Artyom back from the abyss of NATO You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So, once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably garrisoned the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, that is with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> Nastya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Are you still here, Artyom? You really should move out to port soon. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. So, Artyom, are you going to the port? There's nobody there. At least, I haven't seen any normal people. But there sure are mutants, so you'd better take care. Take care, Artyom? Guards of the Dark Ones?
Thank you. Thank you. Ah, these devils caught me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cash here on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin, but you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to this starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul.
ground is much more dangerous though. And the band itself seriously intent on getting the fanatics off the bridge. Got camps all around, train people, the ruin nearby, even on the power line. Will you just look at what the cat dragged in? Oh, well, hello, <laughs> heretic. Did you come to tempt the faithful or to terrorize us with your gun? That won't happen. Some hero you are. Well, I'll be. He doesn't turn his satanic light on us. His gun is holstered. He's a human after all, even though he is a heretic. He has some sense, even. His soul may not be completely lost. You wish. Do they even have a soul, them heretics? Look at his armor! Yeah, that's a work of Satan, all right. I wish our paladin said something like that, though. Of course, blessed by Father Salentius. We'd never have lost the train depot or the tower to those bandits. We'd still have it all, and they'd all be in hell. We'd be cutting them down like dogs. It is temptation. Temptation by technology and its satanic power. You're right. But really, damn.
Here! You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers I never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Crest, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take candy to smart guys here. And me? Huh? They were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> Anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal blade. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. Their tsarfish live there, you know? Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home. And this is where I live. Not a palace. Well, oh, here's a bed. So if you're tired, my home is your home. I made a workbench to tinker on. If you need ammo, grenades, there's some uh, raw materials here. So help yourself. You can have anything you like here. Can't carry all this shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. And look at these hands. They know how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. I have to buy some smokes from the villagers before the assholes chase me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life, huh? Yeah, I've been bent from the village and the bridge ever since. I guess you should start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. 
Now you could take the zip line down, just hook up and uh, away you go. Uh, you have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast, well, that's another story though. Take these ugly mutant bastards from earlier, for example. One of them, uh, it's nothing, but you come across a pack of them? Oh, yeah. just run. I once had to drop all my shit to just get away and I consider myself lucky. Ooh, the motherfuckers are smart. Throwing rocks. Those things hurt like hell. Humans are always worse. Some bandits came here recently. I have no idea what they want. They didn't approach the bridge or the village even once. They just sit there. Okay. 